What kind of a museum is Salarjung Museum? Well, the Salarjung Museum is a government-run museum established in 1951 in Hyderabad to house the wide collection of art and decorative pieces owned by the eccentric former Prime Minister Salarjung III. It moved in 1961 to its present location and contains art from all periods of time and all across the globe, including all parts of India. To gauge its level of importance, an act was passed to declare the museum an institution of national importance. Tip number one, plan for more than one day. Be warned that getting into the museum might take some time. Ticket payment is done in a separate building, and before lining up to pass through security, you will need to pay to store your cell phone in a bag or pay for permission to use a camera. As an extensive collector who went to the ends of the earth to negotiate purchases or gifts, Mr. Jung seemed to be shades away from a hoarder. Therefore, for each type of piece, there may be many on display, making it impossible to visit all the exhibits in one day. If you are interested in the history of India, some of the corridor walls will explain the various eras and movements. You'll probably have to take a snack or lunch break in the friendly canteen that offers tasty local snacks as well as ice cream. If you are someone who likes selfies and photo ops and who wants to participate in this trendy modern tradition, you should leave time for that. Tip number two. Be ready for navigating the little ones. Student groups are constantly circulating around on what looks like a series of drive-by exhibit visits. Try not to trip. Probably they will be more excited just not to be in school and to have the experience of weaving through the rooms of the museum than to actually interact with the exhibits. These exhibits tend to be more like art being sorted into categories behind dimly lit glass rather than intentional and innovative exhibitions. Unfortunately, they don't give credit to or explanation as to what the pieces are communicating and the decisions that went into Mr. Jung's curation. Tip number three. Yes, it may seem corny, but you should experience the hourly chiming of the giant cuckoo clock in the auditorium. Though the cuckoo clock's presentation of a wooden doll coming out and turning butter seems insignificant, experiencing this fascination of the past is an opportunity that many of us tech junkies will never be able to empathize with unless we make it a point to try. At least two of the big screens attempt at a multimedia approach. And it is nice to witness this quirky thing as a whole group, despite being shooed away by guards if you get too close. Thank you for learning about the Salar Jung Museum, and thank you for listening to Commonsensical Travel Hacks.